What's up friends of the good moon, this is Money and welcome to the weekend guys in which we're gonna test three brand new types of weapons for war robots uh, called corrosion weapons that can deal damage over time, okay? It's called Sting, Wasp and Viper and before we go way too into the stats we're just gonna try and have some fun here. Uh, you see here this is the hanger I made for testing the light and medium version of those weapons and, and then I'm gonna make a separate video right after testing the Viper because I'm afraid that it might get way too long if I do all three weapons at once. So we're here on the uh, map Rome, which has been a little bit reworked. And one thing we can see, there is no lighting on our robots. That is a little bit weird. Let's go and test the Pursuer first. We have three three times the light version of the uh, corrosion weapon called Sting on it. It fires five bullets at once. Brrrp, then it reloads for a second and it, fires and it fires again five bullets at once. Okay. So, and we have 600 meters with this. So, uh oh, that was, I think that's a, um, yeah. I think I got him with the corrosion effect right there. Let's see how much damage this Spectre will have taken, right? Let's see. Ah, uh, that's a very little damage. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more than that. Okay, he, uh, he has shock train, so I'm really afraid. I don't want to get hit by that. Let's see if we can stop this guy here from advancing on our beacon. But the problem is, is da like the damage output we have is extremely low. And he just gave us corrosion, okay? Let's see how much health we're going to lose now. You see that we have corrosion effect ticking down on us? And it seems to have not really done a lot of damage. And uh, what was that? Was that he was the Falcon. So he was using the heavy version of these weapons that, that I'm going to show you later in another video. And they actually do a very little amount of damage when it comes to the corrosion effect. Interesting. Uh oh, oh boy. Okay, there is an. What? Are you kidding me? This is a f no. Okay, uh, this is an Haichi. So I'm gonna walk right in here into his shield. Have my thing up. My resist. No, not resistance. My stealth mode. Uh oh. Oh, he wants to hit me. No. Ah! <laughs> he pushed me out into the open. Is it just me or does this Mender look a little bit smaller than usual? Uh, that's three Ansel shields in one place. Look at this, three Ansel shields. I wanna, be, I wanna see the guy who comes in here just and deals some decent damage with rockets. Eh? <laughs> that would be crazy. All right, so yeah, he's uh, he's firing at us with the uh, medium version. So now we're taking the damage from the medium variant, and I don't want to give him this beacon. So I'm gonna stand on the beacon right now. And I must say, these weapons are incredibly weak right now. So. Everything seems to be weak. The damage they do themselves with a sh shooting, then the uh, the corrosion damage they do seems to be weak. The only one who seems to deal a relatively half decent damage is the, the Spectre here with four times the weapon, right? Four times the new weapon. And dude, I'm just absolutely hammering away at this dude. And yeah, his weapons don't go through uh, the... what's it called? through the, uh, the shields of these guys. So I'm gonna jump into a different bot now because I'm undoubtedly going to get killed in the next five seconds or so. Oh, that's Exodus. Hi, dude. How are you, man? Are you okay? Uh-oh, he's gonna realize that he can hit me. Hold on a sec, he's gonna realize. There you go. All right, uh, let's jump into the medium version, okay? So 600 meters range, look. Boom, boom, boom. And it fires differently as you can see here. You have to be relatively accurate with your aim, I just realized. But look how much damage he's taking. Do you see this? Do you see the amount of damage he's taking? Boom! I just destroyed him with this. So the medium version actually has a relatively decent amount of overtime damage going on. And uh, I hope I... Yup! I got him with the corrosion effect with just the first shot. And let's get him too. Yup! And that's what, what you would try to do, right? You would try to get as many people as you can in the corrosion effect. Because you're not limited to only dealing corrosion damage to one guy. You can deal, deal it to a lot of guys, right? So, and I'm trying to take as many enemies as I can with some corrosion effect. So that when, yeah, when I die, I hopefully this goes on. Hopefully they will keep taking damage, which is something I want to test. Are they still taking damage? Yep, he is, but somehow he's taking a low amounts of damage. Hmm. Unfortunately, though, these guys are running uh, the strong weapons, like the halo, the gust on this thing, and as a result, 
There is very little chance I have with weapons that deal absolutely no damage whatsoever. He's got me locked down again. And see, the weapon is just so weak. The damage output is literally non-existing here. Wow. And, and with this, they can just capture the entire... They can just capture the entire map with this. There's nothing I can do about it. I just don't have the firepower to deal with them in any way. Okay, so I must say I'm not very convinced so far of the uh, the corrosion weapons. Like I said, I feel like they are terribly underperforming at this moment. And yup, lockdown again. <laughs> this is just apps. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Four people at the same time on me. Okay. And lockdown again, I just spawned. Wow, you can't move one meter right now. You can't move one freaking meter and go even with a Kamiho that has dashes. Lockdown again. <laughs> oh god, okay. So he's healing up. And uh, yeah, being absolutely destroyed from all sides. No one of these guys is using the weak ass uh, corrosion weapon. Did you notice that? None of these guys were using the weak, weak weapons. I was the only one with the weak weapons that can't fight back and they all have powerful burst shotguns in, in my face. Wow. I still did somehow, apparently, a million damage. That can't be. I can't imagine I've actually done a million damage. I don't understand how this would work because I don't feel like I have done any point of damage. Let's try that again and see the other setups that I've done as well. And then, may, and then I'm gonna make a, another video trying to test the heavy version of that and see how well that does. And cool, now we're getting on the night version of Moon. And you might remember in my last yes, yesterday's video, somebody made me aware of this mistake that I've did. Uh, I said, um, oh, look at the nice atmosphere that we have on Moon now. <laughs> Which is funny since we have no atmosphere on, a moon, on our Moon. And um, But yeah, we have a nice flare now on the night version. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Okay, so I'm starting off with the Pursuer again just so I can be fast and capture the beacons real quick. And uh, I'm pretty sure the uh, the uh, corrosion weapons will be buffed again. So next test server we have, uh, the corrosion weapons will deal a lot more damage than they do currently. I'm pretty sure they will. The uh, the only worry I have is that they might do deal, deal too much damage then, right? See, he has hit me with just one Orkin rocket, and he has done the same amount of damage to me as I have done to him with a lot of these shots, uh, even in on top of the corrosion as well, right? So. Yeah, he's breaking his shield now. He has the shield, the, the, the full damage, but he's not taking any damage. Yeah, so I'm rather going to walk away from him right there because I'm not really going to be able to do anything. I can barely scratch his paint with these weapons. So we will undoubtedly going to see uh, the uh, upgrade, the buffs for these weapons in the next test servers. The question will be how far will it be buffed? Right? You remember the shock train, guys? The shock train also... There's a guy. I can't move away from this beacon or they get this. The shock train also had... Oh, you can now I can walk away. Also was at first super weak. Everyone said that the shock train as underperforming is super weak and all. And uh, and then they uh, <laughs> they made the shock train so powerful that it, you know, it overshadowed everything else in the game. And, um, and so I'm really worried to say, oh yeah, the weapon needs a buff because I know what happened last time when I said that. Uh, but it does need a buff, clearly, and it just needs to be dialed in right, okay? This is- Oh! Hey! Hey, 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 hey. It just needs to be dialed in at the right moment or the right, um, way. So here what I'm trying to do, I'm gonna try to give the corrosion effect to as many robots as possible. Even the guys who are going back into stealth mode. Uh, everybody should get some a piece of corrosion from me. But once again, you see them coming at me with the strong Orkans, with the strong Gust and Halo, and there is just... Look at his health. I have been shooting him for just as long as he was shooting me. And his health is like 95% while I'm destroyed completely. So fully worthless weapon. Let's say how it is absolutely worthless, completely. It just doesn't deal any point of damage whatsoever. However, this is only the light version. The medium version does a little bit better, but also the medium version is not really convincing me of, uh, you know, being incredibly good. But it does, at least when you hit somebody, you see that you have, uh, you know, you see you hit him, right? So the enemy team once again has all five beacons. Whoa. There's a nice shadow here on the ground. From whom? Who's, who's doing that shadow? Oh, this hover up there? Is that the guy who's doing the shadow? Huh. 
All right, let's try and get some beacon, although I don't think we're going to be successful. Oh, of course, he's sitting there with a physical shield. Wow, cool. Oh, I love that. Am I still in his range? Yeah, I am. But I can hit the guy in the in the background there. Let's see if his physical shield protects him. Nope. See, the physical shield didn't even protect him from the corrosion damage. That's interesting. So he's now taking a relatively decent amount of damage through the uh, through the physical shield. Wow, okay. Uh, where are they? Boom, boom, boom. So every hit does a relatively decent damage. And, uh, yeah. So, by the way, if you trigger the corrosion damage, there is no downtime on this, right? See, he's, he's actually taking a really good amount of damage from this. We already did a lot of damage to him right there. Uh, you can see the, the difference is the yellow part that is the damage he had before. And then the red part is his actual current health. So... For some reason, the medium version seems to be doing quite well. Maybe the medium version doesn't actually need a buff, because let's face it and keep in mind, these weapons are meant to be snipers. They're not meant to roll against a shotgun. So it should and always will be weaker than the shotgun is, but at the same time, there should be a difference here when it comes to... Um oh, he's hitting me perfectly. I'm so glad I just entered my stealth mode. Uh, uh, I think I can't spawn on a beacon here, or can I? Can I spawn here on this beacon? No, it's uh, the other game mode. Alright, so yeah, what really seems to be doing damage is the Viper, the medium version of these weapons. The one we have right here. Yep, drain a shield and I can help you. In the meantime... Yeah, nice. Okay, now I can give him Corrosion. Yep, Corrosion is working. And now I can give it to him as well. Nope, his shield is down again. And we can barely get through the shield there. So I'm helping out there. Five shots and then five second reload. Problem is, I'm not sure if he still has enough health to go through that thing. But you know what? We have a dash. So we can just double dash inside that shield and then ignore it. Boom, boom. Dealing damage to him directly and adding the corrosion on top. So considering for a sniper weapon with 600 meters range pretty much, uh, the damage we do here seems to be okay for the Viper. It's only really the sting so far that stings. <laughs> Did you see that? Woo! What a good one. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the sting should stop stinking and the uh, Viper is uh, probably going to, um, you know, remain relatively relevant there. Damn it, I was hoping I was giving him the corrosion right away. Because he would have taken a lot of damage through his shield. Now, one thing, what happens if he activates resistances? Okay, got him. Oh no, now I have a reload. And boom, boom, boom. Corrosion is going, ticking, so I can switch the target already. I'm right behind him, he doesn't even see me, what the heck? Dude, turn around. And come on, get Corrosion. Of course not, of course not. Damn it. By the time I get him in Corrosion state, now I've got him, but he has the uh, the resistance mode active. And I think that I will probably deal very little to no damage here. Let's see how much we've done this time. I don't think it's going to be much. All right, so 800,000. Wow, very little. Um, now I'm going to test. And then I'm going to start the next video immediately, guys. And we're going to test the heavy version of this weapon, the so-called... Um, wait, what's it called? Uh, the vi uh, Wasp. No, Wasp was the middle version. Oops, I was getting confused right there. The Wasp is the middle version, and it seems to be doing well um, so far for a medium version of a sniper weapon. And the Viper is what we're going to test next in this hangar right here, okay? So I'm going to just wrap it up for this time, for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye-bye.